I am feeling very frustrated and I need to share. So I'm going to. I am a nanny. I take care of small children. I take care of children from the time they're born, well, from three months old, until they're about four. And it's a very precious time. The world depresses me. Well, I feel depressed when people don't recognize the importance of bonding, of emotional integrity, of trust, of love, of mother energy. And it is missing in this world. And it's so frustrating because this is my area of study. This is what I know. This is where I've explored. People don't explore emotions. They don't want to. They're too scary. And yet, so many people are addicted to so many different things because they don't have that basic trust inside of them. That love. They don't have it. Where the fuck did it go? When I tell people I'm a nanny, there's a judgment. Even my friends judge what I do. Even people who have suffered emotional trauma in their childhood due to neglectful and abusive care providers, whether those were nannies or parents or siblings, don't value what I do and consider it <clears throat> being, uh, you know, underemployed, um, unskilled labor. <laughs> Fuck you. Nannying is not unskilled labor. Now, sure, there's, there's bad nannies out there. Of course. And there's really bad parents out there. There's really bad presidents. There's really bad, you know. There's plenty of people who do their jobs poorly. But if you're going to nanny well, if you're going to mother children in the absence of the biological mother, you got to have a pretty sharp set of skills. Now, you could get those skills from your own childhood if the care providers around you were, you know, had emotional integrity, bonded with you emotionally and physically, loved you for exactly who you were, were completely honest with you and respected you. Well, you're just going to have that built in. But a lot of people don't have that. I did not have that. I had to fucking work for it. I had to go into these dark realms, these dark emotional realms where you feel like you're going to die, but you don't. You find love on the other end, but that's a fucking journey. A journey that most people haven't taken. You know? And it is fucking frustrating to be here to have the knowledge and the skill set that I have and to be around people who desperately need it, number one. And number two, don't value it. Until it's too fucking late, to be honest. Until it's, it's too fucking late. Um, care providers of small, small children, infants and toddlers, are gods to these to these newly embodied spirits. They have absolute authority over this child, right? This child will form its idea about the world and about God and about anything outside of them, really, the other, from their care providers from the very get-go. Because their care providers are that influential, are that impactful. And yet there's no regulation on how to raise a child. No regulation. That's, a, that's an area that people just don't want to touch. Just like the divine feminine. Just like um, death. 
just like, uh, which is part of the divine feminine. People don't want to go there. They don't want to go there in their childhood. They don't want to go there in their present moment. Um, they would like to just move forward and keep progressing and keep being compulsive uh, because it is so deeply traumatic how little love there is in the world. Deeply traumatic. And that's where, you know, love begins is that infant, that tiny little baby. And the mother or the care provider who is with, there with the infant, that is the opportunity to bond, to feel trust and safety and to feel cared for. And people, you know, think of infants as, oh, that's a piece of cake. You don't really have to do much with an infant. It, it Not with your left brain. No, you're not sitting there teaching the infant quantum mechanics. Although you're kind of embodying the quantum field all the time around a child, around an infant, especially in the Delta state. They're in that oneness Delta state of just like, we are all one, that unity. That is the quantum field. And the body of the person around them communicates so much to that infant about trust and nurturing and bonding. <sighs> and it just really bums me out. It really bums me out how desperate we need this energy, but we don't trust it. We make fun of it, we trivialize it, and we devalue it. And then we've got things like Putin, fucking Putin. Man, you could tell he was not loved in his infancy, right? Mm -mm, mm -mm. People didn't care. Too late now, too late now. I mean, he is so divorced from anything, any kind of divine feminine vulnerability, childhood experience. Um, it's too, it's too late. It's too late. Um, and yet... <laughs> He's the fucking dictator, you know what I mean? Like, I, that's that's just that's just awful to me. And um, uh, a lot of shit is going on, and a lot of it sucks. I'm gonna be honest; it fucking sucks. The COVID, <sighs> we're going through a really tough time right now, and. I believe what we need is the mother. We need to bring back the mother. We need to not be rejecting the mother. We need to bring her back. Those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.